I'm sorry. I just don't buy it. I just don't fucking buy it. No fucking way is Oda gonna do it like that. Maybe Doflamingo's talking out of his ass. Maybe there's something that he did to Law that it kind of appears that way. But I don't buy it until I see the fucking funeral that Law is dead. Like, not like that especially. No fucking way. Oda, if you did that, yo, I'm not gonna be upset. I'm just gonna be like... Why, Oda, why? So starting off this chapter, I was very pleasantly surprised and it was very unexpected to get a piece of Zoro's training. I was like, wow, you know, that kind of, I guess, made Pika stuff a little bit more valuable. Like afterwards, we get a little flashback of a piece of his training and something that he had to go through, which was basically conquer the, you know, the hockey inside of the sword and whatnot. And seeing Mihawk is always a treat as well. And the fact that it was like, no alcohol until you can do this shit. That, especially somebody like Zoro and drinking like him, that motherfucker every second of the day was probably pushing, so definitely interesting stuff there, and I'm just glad as fuck, like, that's something that I really want to see more of what they were doing during the time skip, like, exact, you know, okay, well, Mihawk and Zoro, how did Zoro lose the eye, which, stuff like this gives me hope that we will see at some given point that exact moment in a flashback or whatever the case may be. Then we got small little pieces here and there, Fujitora saved everyone, the factories getting destroyed, which was something huge for a long time destroy the factory so i guess in that aspect a little piece of progression as well even though it's the tontadas but regardless if we hate dislike them or whatever the case may be they're at least progressing things along with this whole factory destruction shit that we've been waiting ages for and i'm really curious as to how strong koala is at this particular point if sabo is like not many people can fuck with you bitch like <laughs> you don't really need my help and she's like well you know like kind of this is doflamingo it's like how, how strong is Koala? Is she, like, on Vice Admiral level? Maybe, like, around there between Vice and, and Admiral, something along the lines of that? Because if Sabo, one of, you know, second in command of the Revolutionary Army, is bigging her up like that and saying, what, what you need me for? Like, yo, you good? Koala. Strong, bitch, I'm telling you. And then we also got the setup and progression that they're going over as well to help Luffy and whatnot. So we might have a really huge battle at the end. Maybe Luffy won't be able to take on Doflamingo because he'll be so weak and fucked up mentally that it's going to take Sabo, you know, an extra hand or something. Or maybe, you know, a big war is going to break out. I know that that's a very good setup. You know, Sabo and Koala nonetheless going to show up to help Luffy, but... Yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna get real. And final fucking Lee, it took too damn long, but finally Luffy put down... Bella Crust. If at this particular point there's nothing more for Bellamy, I, I'm still questioning why Oda brought him back, honestly. Like, e ever since he's come back, it's just more pathetic and more pathetic and more pathetic. And yeah, maybe a little bit of sympathy towards the end with what he said, you know, a foolish man doing his foolish things in you know, foolish ways or whatever the case may be. And, you know, it's supposed to be sympathetic, but why bring him back if he's just gonna keep on and i guess that's to show that he has the strong resolve or whatever but if he's not gonna be a key player to things and he's just like there as an extra head that kind of got in the way of like you know moving the plot along anyway then yeah i'm, I'm questioning why is bellamy here i still i still don't fucking get it he was just a boinging motherfucking annoyance there's a difference between admiration and really respecting somebody and wanting to go the length or whatever and then there's just fucking Bellamy, he's in a class of his own, he's just a fucking idiot, but I think the best thing that that probably provided was getting Luffy amped up to go fight Doflamingo when he's screaming or whatever, so in that regard, okay, yeah, he got Luffy amped up, but seriously, Bellamy wasn't necessary to begin with, like, as I look at it, like, every time I think, okay, this is what he provided to this arc, and we see him grow, or maybe he's gonna be on Dawn's team finally, or just something, it just always goes back to, he's just pathetic, but the biggest thing that everybody's fucking going ape shit about right now is, is Law dead. I, I don't buy it. I, I'll be 100% honest with you. I don't see Oda doing it that way. I think that was to get everyone hype. And of course, of course, that H.O. Oda has to go on break next week. So we're there for now two weeks. We got to sit there like, what's going on with Law? Don't tell me, Oda. So we got to wait that fucking long for that shit. Not to mention the way it was done. It's just like nerve-wracking and everything but overall this chapter it definitely provided a few different things first of all it provided an end to that fucking annoying fight luffy versus bellamy bellamy finally you know got the crud beat out of him i don't know if he's dead or not doubtful but yeah bellamy's out the way bit of destruction on the factory which is something that's been a long time coming again i don't give a fuck about the tontadas but the fact that they did that good shit there is progressing that part as well and then even set up with sabo and koala heading towards luffy to help him out which I mean, he's gonna need a lot of help. If Like, right now, if Luffy fights Doflamingo, we're gonna get a true testament to his power because there's no fucking way that Oda's gonna do Doflamingo like he's done a lot of the executives. I don't buy it. I don't see Luffy getting an easy win. I mean, 
Look what he did to Smoker, bro. He, he turned Smoker's asshole inside out. Yeah, crazy chapter. Again, I don't buy the whole Law of Death thing. No fucking way. But what do you guys think? Do you think Law is indeed dead? Did Don do him in? Did he do something? Maybe he extracted a power from Law. Maybe he made Law do a power on himself to appear to be dead. How strong do you think Koala is? And what role do you think they're going to have in going for Luffy, you know, to help him out with Doflamingo, or by the time they get there, is the fight already going to be done? And is it just me, or are you glad that Bellamy's finally out the way? And just your overall thoughts, honestly, very good chapter between an 8 to an 8 and a half for this one, I mean, it did some pretty big things, and to be honest with you, that ending has me going crazy, I would go a little bit more crazy if it was actually showcasing him being dead there, and it was like, yeah, he's fucking dead, because when you do these things, usually it's like, it's just to amp people up and get people excited, and then we're gonna find out that there's a catch to it, where eventually Law will come back, it's like, just either straight up show it, that like, you know, Whitebeard got, took the cannonball to the fucking face, or, you know, because like, now we gotta wait two fucking weeks, Odo, why are you doing this to us, bro? But yeah, still very fucking good shit, I, I, I can't wait for this next chapter. That's all I have for this review, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, if you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like, I'd greatly appreciate it, and if you haven't subscribed, if you do so as well, that'd be amazing, I'm for the world, and as always, people, have an awesome day.